If you ask me on a date and I say, well, you know, what do you have in mind? And you say to me, I don't know. What do you want to do? I want you to man up. I want you to take charge. You should already have a plan. You should already know where we're going. You should already invite me there. Like I should, I'm not planning this. You asked me. Plan it. Man up. And you see all of that uh, drama, all of those words. That's why your ass is still going to be single because men don't want to hear that. You're trying to make this man act like he's already in a full on few year relationship with you and he's going to plan this and he's going to plan that. You're already starting drama from the beginning because he didn't do it right, because he didn't plan it right. This is one of the reasons why men don't want to go on dates with women at all. The first date shouldn't even involve all of this type of planning and all of that. How about just getting to know somebody? Why does it have to be this big ass plan that a man has to put together like he's organizing a party or something? It's ridiculous. Just keep the shit simple. Stop expecting men to jump through 50 million hoops to prove their worth to you. He doesn't even know if you're worthy of all that planning, but you're demanding it in the beginning. And you're not even all that. I just got to call it spade a spade. You're not even all that. Why are you trying to demand so much? Even if you weren't all, even if you were all that, you still don't deserve that. This is the type of woman that will, well, why this? Well, why that? Well, why this? Well, win this? Well, win that? Just yak, 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 yak. This is what men don't want to hear. Have you ever thought about the reason why men may say, well, what do you want to do? Because he's asking you, what do you want to do that you're most comfortable with? I'll give you an example. There was a woman, young woman, actually, in her 20s. Okay, a few years ago, that was on me all day, every day about taking her somewhere and doing all this and that, right? And I wanted to go to the beach. I said, you know, I'm in California, so I want to go to Malibu. I was like, all right, I'm going to go to Malibu Beach. Let's do this in the third. And I told her, I said, look, let's go to the beach. Let's have some fun. She says to me, okay, fine. The next day comes. And I'm like, so let's go to the beach. Let's go this day. I'm planning it. Let's go to the beach. She's like, oh, well, my friend is going to take me to the beach. You know, some guy friend. That was just her friend, so supposedly. Just her friend. I said, okay, whatever. Go to the beach with your friend. The day comes, she's supposed to go to the beach with this friend, right? And she texts me. And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm working. <laughs> you know, I decided to work. I work from home. I've been an entrepreneur. Uh, for a long time uh, at home, working at home. So I said, I'm working, you know, we we're going to go to the beach, but you didn't want to go. You said your friend was going to take you. All of a sudden, the friend doesn't want to take her anymore. She's like, so do you, do you want to go to the beach? I'm like, not nah, today, maybe in a couple days, you know, because I wanted to go to the beach myself. And so she comes over to my house and we're sitting there and we're talking. And I asked her, I said, so, um, you know, what do you want uh, as far as like snacks? She was like, why are you asking me that? Why would you ask me that? Haven't you ever been to the beach before? Don't you know what you take to the beach? And I looked at her like, um, I asked, what do you want? I know what I eat. I asked what you wanted. And she continued to want to give me this third degree simply because I asked her, what does she want to eat for snacks at the beach? Right? She completely snapped on me for no reason. I looked at her and said, you know what? Beach is out. I'm done. The next day I went to the beach by myself. Of course, she was pissed off about that. But this just illustrates that constant yak, 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 that constant uh, complain, 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 the constant drama. Men don't want to hear that. I'd rather be in the corner with a puppy and a goldfish by myself than to be dealing with some woman that's on my last nerve with her mouth and complaining and trying to check me and chastise me for what I'm doing and what I'm saying. I'd rather be alone. I don't want to deal with that. And a lot of other men out there feel the same way. 
the minute we start hearing this Charlie Brown scratch, it's a wrap. Because this right here, this is a foreshadowing of a future with this woman. If it starts out with all this complaining, with all this yak, 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 that's what it's going to be. You want to get with a woman, just like, okay, whatever. As long as I can be with you, it's, it's whatever. You know, get whatever, honey. You want to get whatever you, I'll, I'll eat what you eat at the beach. But instead, it's, nah, 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 nah. it's just drama. This is why your ass is going to stay single. Because you always have something to say. Learn to zip it. Learn to be appreciative, appreciative of things that men are trying to do for you. Some type of effort. It doesn't always have to be scripted out. It doesn't always have to be a plan. A plan. Make this plan. Plan, plan, plan. It's annoying, ladies. I'm sorry you don't want to hear, but it's the truth. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.